if you enjoyed the beta uh you are definitely gonna love the uh full game even more because awesome. there's gonna be even more new stuff in this game in the beta we just got a little taste of what vanguard is going to be let me let me recap what vanguard was in the beta the new changes we got in the beta changes that were needed yes changes that make the gameplay better yes everybody loved that this game we wanted vanguard to run on the modern warfare engine and it's running on that bad boy and it copied the best features from vanguard and also you gotta you gotta like you gotta you gotta understand Vanguard is competing with Battlefield, right? Battlefield is pretty good, right? It's a pretty good game. And uh, the first thing Vanguard did was to introduce, uh, introduce, to have Levolution in the game. So that's like a point that makes this game biblical. You can break entire plank walls creating new and exciting areas. Like there's a plank wall right here, you cannot pass through it, but if you break it, there's a new passage. Like it's a new area, you're like, oh my god, it looks like a, a completely different map. It is insane, the level of Levolution in this game, and they also got doors back and you can break the doors and whatever. It is crazy, nuts, right? The time to kill is even faster than before, because it just makes the gameplay more fun. It makes the gameplay more enjoyable for everybody. You kill people faster, you get your kill sticks faster. You, everybody's happy, right? The gameplay is more fun. You have no red dots on the minimap, which is cool. When you think about it, it is cool because you don't know where the enemies are. Therefore, the game feels like it feels like an adventure because you gotta go out and look for your enemies. You gotta look for your prey. You're like a predator and you're running around looking for the little gazelles that are hiding from you. So this is totally a lot of fun and it's a change we've been asking for a very long time because I mean, it, it feel, the game feels like a mission. You're like Tom Cruise. I, I love it. Then we also have no reward for playing the objective. I was asking, I was asking for this for like for forever, man. This is crazy because like I play domination all the time, right? And the thing that bothers me the most is having to hop on the flag. I don't care about hopping on flags. All I care about is getting kills. You know, all I care about is my juicy kill death ratio because that's how I get my girls in real life. I show them my KD in Call of Duty and they're like, oh, you're so hot, right? That's the most important thing, kill death ratio. No one cares about playing the objective. So I'm ah, glad that know. someone at okay. Sledgehammer had the brilliant idea of rewarding nothing to people that play the objective because that's what you deserve to get nothing because you're a little Jimmy, you're dumb. You shouldn't be playing the objective. You should be just running around getting kills getting your kill death ratio higher and higher and then we have field upgrades i love field upgrades man they're a lot of fun and uh, i especially love the goliath i am glad they put a deadly rc tank on steroids as a field upgrade in the game instead of being a kill streak because you know that this thing being a field upgrade takes more skill to get than uh than as if it you know, then if it was, um, I can't even speak English anymore, then if it was a kill streak. So I'm glad that, you know, usually the RC car is a kill streak and everybody's spamming the RC car. So with this change, making the RC car a field upgrade, no one's gonna use this thing. So I love it, right? Then we'll say, oh, I love this feature. You have no enemy gunshot sounds. You cannot hear no enemies around you uh, like it is crazy even if they're not using the silencer i love this change man like the other day i was camping with my sniper i was on a sniper's nest and i was very focused you know looking for little jimmies shooting little jimmies across the map and right behind me literally two feet behind me there was a three-man battle for our flag in domination we had we, we had a bunch of peasants fighting for a flag like 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 any anybody cares about playing the objective but anyways we had ex i had explosions behind me gunshots you know it was a crazy battle happening right behind me for that flag and all i heard was <laughs> were birds chirping all i heard was nature the wind uh, like like i heard nothing and it felt great because as a sniper you got to focus 
on what's happening right in front of you and uh, you know I, I like I it was great not hearing all this noise in the background and you know the enemies fighting whatever so I love this new feature you don't hear any any uh, any enemy gunshots the care package now takes kill to use guys like you call in your care package it's bounce, bouncing all over the place so now you got to be careful when you call in your care package because you might land off the uh, outside the map and also you cannot reroll your care package you cannot see what's inside the care package so whatever you get you gotta work with it you gotta adapt to it so it really takes skill to use this care package and uh, you know people are also complaining about call of duty vanguard being a world war ii game having red dot sights holographics body armor and this was all this is this was all secret world war ii stuff that they were developing back in the day so we totally totally makes sense to have this in a world war ii game but anyways ladies and gentlemen i just wanted to uh, recap this for my previous video because this is all the stuff all the new stuff we've been asking for all the stuff i like i liked in the beta there's more stuff new stuff that's what i'm gonna be uh, gonna be talking about today and uh, not today now and uh, this is the stuff like this is the cherry on top of the cake and i hope there's more uh, we have a bunch of new perks coming to uh, World War II, uh, coming to a uh, Vanguard, I mean, perks that we didn't have in the beta, obviously, because the beta was just a little taste of uh, what you're going to get in Vanguard. Uh, and the first perk I want to talk about, and by the way, I don't know if these are going to be normal perks gun perks or cut perks that are not that were supposed to be in the game at first but then they were cut and they're not going to be in the game anymore but there's still leftovers of it of it in the game and whatever so the first one is brawler and brawler lets you move faster while using knives and uh, you're gonna have you're gonna have a longer lunge and uh, you also get your health back after you get a kill while using this thing uh, a lot of people are complaining about this oh this is gonna be like commando from modern warfare 2 but I mean, it makes sense. We all know that back in the day, World War II soldiers were super fit because back in the day, they didn't have, you know, uh, McDonald's and Burger King and whatever. They were not, you know, they had good diets. Back in the day, they, they had good diets. They were super fit. So it makes sense that they all ran pretty fast back in the day. Clandestine uh, is a perk we had in World War II, actually. And it seems that it's also going to be in this game. And pretty much after killing an enemy, it drops a pack. Uh, and uh, if you run over that pack, you, you're going to get a, a ping on the minimap. Kind of like a, a one-time pocket UAV. And every time you respawn, you also get this ping around you. It's good for spotting enemies around you. Uh, then there's also Dauntless. And this is going to make you immune to suppression gun suppression the suppression uh, effect that kind of like slows you down it makes you immune to that but at the same time you move slower so you don't move slower when you're getting suppressed but you move slower the rest of the time um, so it makes sense then there's also lightweight and lightweight makes you run faster but when you are getting suppressed uh, you move even slower than normal so again an another good perk and then we have piercing vision and this is the one this is the hot one this is a spicy one piercing vision highlights enemies through walls when they are suppressed now like people are hitting on this one and they forget that back in the day there was a lot of world war ii secret stuff we don't know about that only a few soldiers were using kind of like Captain America or whatever. So this was clearly an ability some World War II soldiers had, had back in the day. It totally makes sense to have a perk that lets you see people through walls like a wall hack. And speaking of that, I also love the fact that we had hackers in the Vanguard beta because Sledgehammer was like, was like okay, eventually there's going to be hackers and call it Vanguard, so we might as well uh, let people play against hackers now so they can, you know, get used to the hackers already. So that was also a good change. Uh, because before we we had never uh, we had no hackers in uh, any Call of Duty beta. Um, also, we're gonna have a new perk called Reaper, and this is about kill streaks. Kill streak kills count towards your kill streak. I mean, this is definitely gonna be a good perk for uh, for people that like running around. It's I don't see this being a good perk for campers. So I think that no camper is gonna be using this perk whatsoever, especially because this game is gonna have pretty much no campers. All these new changes uh, is gonna make the game super fast paced and not super super campy uh, also your care package is going to give you better kill streaks and your kill streaks are going to last 50 percent more so if this game uh if this perk comes to the game oh it's going to be good for people that like running around not so good for campers then there's also serpentine and serpentine uh, gives you reduced damage while you are sprinting 
So, you know, you're, you're going to be running around like a maniac. Ooh, dodging bullets, doing these two bullets. And it's also a perk that uh, is going to be pretty good and is going to make the gameplay very enjoyable. And finally, Commando lets you select a fourth kill streak. And uh, yeah, this actually this might be a good a good perk. But the thing is that it takes skill to select kill streaks because most kill streaks cost the same points. And when they cost the same points, you cannot use them all together. You can only use one. So it's gonna be it's gonna take skill to actually be able to choose a four kill streak. Ladies and gentlemen, these are the big changes coming to Quality Vanguard. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Love Vanguard, and it's a great quality game. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. All right.